YouTube. I hope everyone is having a good day. I'm probably going to upload this right after the video that I already did, which is my drugstore haul. I decided to lose the scarf because I'm getting hot and I just feel like a bunched up snowman. So um, I ditched the scarf, so I'm not trying to like trick you into an outfit change. I just it was kind of hot. So I'm going to proceed with my haulage and this is all sort of high end stuff. And I have been accumulating this for a little while. So along with the drugstore haul that I did before, sorry, I'm going to try not to fuss with my hair too much. Um, along with the drugstore stuff that I just did or um, possibly uploaded before this video, um, I've been accumulating that and this more high-end stuff over the past couple weeks. So it wasn't all in one pop, so don't worry. But um, I'm going to get started. I, I guess I have quite a bit, but not an overwhelming amount. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is a body butter that I got. I love Body Shop body butters, and this is the Brazil Nut at my JCPenney Sephora. They were discontinuing, I think, a couple colors. I don't know if they were discontinuing the Body Shop altogether or just certain scents, but these were on sale. I've gone through quite a bit of it. I got it because um, I like the coconut one, but the scent is too strong. So when I do the coconut one and I wear it or put it on before bed, and then I do um, in the morning, you know, I wake up and do my routine, I can still smell it quite heavily on my skin, which I don't care for. And I can smell it almost through, or I can smell it competing with my Coco Mademoiselle or my Tom Ford, you know, whatever perfume I wear that day. And I don't like them. So if anyone has, you know, I'm thinking of doing the Creme Decor by Kiehl's. I just haven't kind of bit the bullet and purchased that. It's a little pricey. I was thinking of getting that. But if anyone knows of like a thicker, um, oily, no, I hate to say oily and greasy, but I like that kind of slip to the skin. I do like that. Uh, the feel. I like my Cetaphil cream. Um, I like to use the body oils when I get out of the, sh out of the shower. I like these body butters because they are thicker, but if anyone has any more recommendations of things like that that they like, please let me know. But this Brazil nut's really nice for that, uh, for the whole thing of, of not being too strong scented. So I got that and I got another one. Maybe it's uh, vitamin E. I can't remember. I left it upstairs. Okay, so the next thing that I got was a repurchase and it is my Obagi Cleansiderm. It's the pore therapy. It's the step two in the Cleansiderm system. I use this um, sort of as a toner after I use the step one. I wash my makeup off, I do step one, and then I do this as like a, a toner. It has salicylic acid in it and it's really helping with my skin. I'm gonna do a whole separate video, video I think, on the Cleansiderm system by Obagi. If anyone's interested, you can let me know for sure below, but I'm thinking of doing that video. But I did repurchase that. Um, for hair, I just got this the other day. It's the Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray. This smells amazing. It smells like the actual Moroccan oil and the, the shampoo and the conditioner and stuff. And the Moroccan oil stuff smells like a dream. So this hairspray just is awesome. It, it's just awesome. The smell. For the smell only. Honestly, I haven't used it too much function. <laughs> I kind of just give my hair a spritz just to have a really good smell to it but I haven't really like curled it or set it or anything. For the most part, like this is what my hair looks like the day that I wash it. <laughs> just fluffy and crazy. Like, look at this. It's just like absolutely nuts. So I, ha I didn't have time to really straighten it a lot this morning. And so it's just a disaster. It feels like an absolute disaster right now. And it's not going in the direction that I want it to. But I don't use hairspray a whole lot to like hold a style because I don't really have a style. I use it more or less to tame my hair and then of course I usually use it for the uh, for the smell. Um, when I tease my hair, that's not, that's not one I would use to tease my hair because it's light enough to kind of spray in and just kind of still brush through my hair. When I tease my hair, Kenra Volume Spray is my number one. That or the Alterna Anti-Aging Hairspray. Those are my two for teasing that I love. But as you know, I'm growing my hair out and I'm not teasing it and it's really hard to do. <laughs> but it's been almost a year of, of not teasing it. And um, as you can tell, my hair has definitely grown a lot. So it's worth it, but I just, I, I love teasing my hair. Okay, next is something that I am in love with. Um, I can save a review. In fact, it'll probably show up in a favorites video, but this is the Caudalie and uh, the Eau de Raisin. I don't know how to, you know, I don't know the proper term for that or the proper pronunciation, but it's basically grape water. So they kind of break it down for you right here. It's soothing moisturizing spray. I love this. I love it before I put on my makeup 
it helps for an easy application. I love it to set my makeup. It helps it last a lot longer and creates a little luminosity without making me greasy. This is holy grail for me and I don't think I'll ever go without this. So this might be talked about in a favorites video in a little more detail, but I don't know how much more in depth I can get with that. So next there are two Urban Decay things that I picked up and I don't buy a whole lot of Urban Decay. You guys probably know that. You know, you've watched my hauls long enough for years that you know that I don't really indulge in too much Urban Decay. But this is um, something I've looked at back and forth for a while. My friend Natalie Flowerbomb31 likes this. And this is the color Lucky in the Glide On Pencil. I'm not a pencil liner kind of girl. You know that I have my, my cat eye liquid and I've been doing it since I don't even know when. For over 10 years now. <laughs> um, almost every single day. So that is kind of my, my signature eyeliner. But I do like pencil every once in a while for underneath. And this is what I really like the Lucky for. And it is a coppery brown. Absolutely gorgeous. It really makes my eyes pop. It uh, kind of highlights the blue in them. It gives a little bit of a smudgy, smoky look. Sometimes black is too harsh because of my hair and, and my light eyes. Sometimes black's a little bit too harsh, especially for daytime. Uh, to smoke black under there isn't always the most flattering thing in the world for me. So I usually do it with brown or copper or brown toned shadows. And this is awesome. So I love this Lucky. All I do is kind of smudge Lucky underneath my, my lash line. And then I, I top it with a bit of texture. So I really like texture over that. I like antique kind of padded over top of it with an angled brush to set it. Uh, a lot of different colors you can use really to, to kind of set that liner. But I'm definitely a fan of this. So the next shadow I got was a recommendation of Lisa Lisa D1. I loved her makeup in a recent video and she was wearing Urban Decay Free Love on her eyes, which is a shimmery pink color it's um it's like a warm pink melon I don't quite know how to describe it but here it is and I can attest to saying that this is an absolutely gorgeous color it looks really pretty by itself for a simple eye with some thick cat eye black liquid liner it's right there or it looks awesome which would I which is what I've been doing lately is wearing it with brown so I've been doing brown kind of over top this first um, over my lid and into the crease even extending it up past the crease and then I do a brown that I will show you actually over my whole lid into the crease and blend it all out with some MAC texture and that's been my go-to eye but I love this color uh, free love very flattering especially blue green eyes I think anyone even brown anyone can get on with that eyeshadow uh, next is a lipstick by Victoria's Secret that I picked up and this is in naked again this was a I want to say this was a recommendation from someone. I'm not sure. I can't remember who, but I know someone had mentioned this. And, oh, I think it was Jess. I think it was Gem or Jerica, my friend Jess. And this is a really pretty nude pink color. That nude pinky peach that, you know, is very typical. So that is the color Naked. And these are cheap. They're only like $15. So... I want to get a few more colors. It's a nice formula. It's creamy. It's pigmented. I think a lot of people would like this color and I think it would suit a lot of skin tones. <laughs> I have so much Laura Mercier stuff. It's really kind of crazy. So we'll save all that for last. I'm going to try these or I'm going to do next these two Claren eyeshadows. So here they are. They're the new eyeshadows, the Ombre Mineral. Uh, you can use them wet, dry. Uh, they're mineral eyeshadows. Soothing and long lasting. Now, I heard of these from my friend Sandra, TT Sandra. I'm losing daylight here. Um, I heard about these from Sandra. She said that she felt them and the texture was great. I can't remember if she picked one up or not, but she said the texture was reminiscent of, or reminded her of the Burberry eyeshadows, which I would love to get a couple of those colors. And I just, again, have not like bit the bullet or really pulled the trigger on that one just because I have never seen them in person. And that makes me sort of apprehensive when it comes to shadows. I would have to just be blindly ordering them. And although I've seen a million and one swatches, I just, I don't know, something about not seeing them in person bothers me. But I will, I will eventually order uh, the Burberry eyeshadows. In fact, I have a Nordstrom note that I think I'm going to use to order one. But she said that these Claren ones reminded her of them, and that was enough to make me go check them out and, and to try a couple. They're only $20. 
Um, I don't mean to say only because I know that for an eyeshadow that is pricey to some people, but in re in relation to the Burberry eyeshadows, those are 30 So here's the first color that I got, and I know it's sort of reflective packaging. The packaging is very chic. I don't want to hold it too close to you and blind you. It's a very chic packaging on the Clarins shadows. Uh, this is the color Auburn. And it's a nice, warm, shimmery brown. It comes off as, it really goes on the eye nice and pigmented, but also sheer. So if you can kind of tell what I'm talking about, or if you know what I'm talking about by that, it's pigmented, but it's also uh, more, or less, more or less a wash of color instead of just like stark, dark brown colored. So here it is right here, and you can even see how it's a wash of color. I am obsessed with that shadow. I've been wearing it every day for a week and a half straight. I love it, and I do not mind that it's not crazy pigmented. It makes it easy to wear, easy to blend, and makes for a really beautiful eye look, especially with that Free Love by Urban Decay. So, sorry I keep fussing with the computer. Um, I went back and I purchased another one in Dark Chocolate because I did... Um, I did look at this the first time around and then I wanted to kind of just buy one at a time But here is the dark chocolate and this is another dark color. It's not too cool toned It's not too warm toned. It's pretty neutral, but it's definitely darker than the um, Than the Auburn It's right here beside oh, There we go And it's a beautiful texture um, it stays on again, like I said, really well. It wears well throughout the day. I wore this yesterday and they just, they're, they're really, really nice shadows. So I would suggest that you go swatch them and check them out if you get the chance. So those are Clarins. Wouldn't normally have looked at them, but Sandra definitely pointed me in a good direction with those. All right, guys, my hair is like, I, oh, I could just scream. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Okay, so I went back and I purchased the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer in SC5 before I showed you the 6. It's a little too dark. Now, if I'm like self-tanning and it's in the middle of summer when I'm a lot darker, that was fine, but it was not really matching up well. And also, um, I returned it because I think it was dried out. So the texture was not... They're typically... These are typically really... Um, not really creamy they're kind of a harder texture and you have to warm them up first but that one was just really really dry even the sales uh the makeup artist or the sales associate said the same thing so i returned it and swapped it out for this sc5 and i love this when i have a blemish which my obaji has been doing me really well lately uh thank god um, but when I do have a blemish and I put that on it, it lasts forever and it like evens it out and it just, it camouflages it. It's unbelievable. I love that concealer. Okay, the next five things are all also Laura Mercier. I'm going to show you two lip liners that I got and I love these lip liners. So I'm just going to say that now and I'm going to say that I do want to get more colors. I'm trying to see the colors I got. I got Naked and Potpourri for right now. So I, Sephora has Potpourri. That's where I got that one. And then I got Naked at um, Nordstrom. Nordstrom has a lot more selection of the colors. But Naked is right here. And it's really not that pigmented. I mean, it is pigmented, but on my skin tone, it's not really, um, you know, I don't want to say bright, but it's not real dark on my skin tone. But what it's really awesome for is making my lips look extremely full. So being that it's just... A hint of a shade darker than my actual natural lips um, shading it around and really overlining with it makes my lips look super full so I love that um, I love that liner when I started to put it on me and the makeup artist at Nordstrom we were like eh, it's like not showing up that well I'm like well let me just finish like shading and lining so I finished and I shaded my lips in and I lined them and when I was done we both looked at it and we were like because at first we were totally writing it off. We're like, oh, this sucks. Like, it's not really even showing up. And then once I just kind of shaded a little bit harder and went around my whole lips and I was done, we were both like, yeah, <laughs> you have to buy that one. So I ended up getting it, and it is more or less a tool for shading and a tool for making my lips uh, look a little fuller, more so than it is for actually making, like, a colored line around them. 
but for lighter skin tones, I think it would be absolutely gorgeous. So this is, what did I say, Naked? Yeah, Naked by Laura Mercier. Now, Potpourri is the one that I've been wearing a lot with the pink truffle lip butter, and it is definitely more pronounced. It's a pink, um, a pinkish mauve color, and I love it. I've been wearing this nonstop. I really love this color. I would have it on right now, but I was gathering my stuff, and I put everything in a bag, so that's why I use my Dior Earth. But I would have had it on for you guys to see because I've been wear I was wearing it earlier today. But those are the two lip liners. And then the three lipsticks that I got were on recommendation of my friend Rachel, my makeup queen, <laughs> Makeup Never Sleeps. She told me that I needed all three of these colors. And so I got one and one run to Nordstrom. And then the next time I went back, I got these two. So the first one is Peach. And these are the new formulas. They're the cream smooth lip colors. And I want to give you a heads up that this Peach or Petch color is at Sephora. But the other two colors are only at counters that have Laura Mercier. So they were only at Nordstrom. Sephora doesn't carry these two colors. It's a beautiful peach color. Peach nude. These are so creamy and so pigmented that the formula is just an absolute dream. So I can really recommend these. I think they're affordable too in the $20 range. But here is the peach. Looks really good with the naked lip liner. And it looks really good with a pinker base lip liner. The next one that I got is Pink Blush. Oh, guys, my hair is driving me crazy. You know why I hate it is that, like, right when you wash it, when it's real clean, like, for me, it feels, like, weighed down up here. Not even weighed down, because I can puff it up, but it feels soft and, like, flatter up here. And then towards the bottom, it's, like, a, I feel like it's a triangle. Who has like a great root boost recommendation where that doesn't make your hair feel really greasy? It just makes it feel like airy and oh, I know I was supposed to get the Kevin Murphy one. Sandra told me to get Kevin Murphy and then I never ended up getting it. But does anyone else like that one? The Kevin Murphy anti gravity spray. Okay, this is Laura Mercier pink blush. So pretty, just a really nice neutral pink. There it is right there. So it's like a nude pink. It's really pretty. Love it. And then it actually, now that I look at it, it's an almost exact dupe for that Victoria's Secret one. The Victoria's Secret one's a little bit, a little bit darker and more mauve, but if you don't want to spend the money on the Laura Mercier, the Victoria's Secret Naked is extremely similar. Okay, the last one I got is Angelic. And this is a lighter colored nude. I don't want to say taupey, but it's a nude with sort of, um, well, I'll just show you. Here it is right here. So it's definitely a pink nude. But the formula on these are it's awesome. And they fade really nicely. They kind of set into the lips. They don't dry out. They're just, they're gorgeous lip formulas. So... That is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Sorry I have been playing with my hair so much and complaining about it. <laughs> but it's really nice to be back with a, another haul. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to link everything below, like I said in my last video. Keep in touch with me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you guys there. Have a great day. Bye.